So we were walking down the beach, and we were thirsty, and we saw a bar. We walked up to it, and we put our wristband hands in our pocket so they couldn't see them. We tried to uh, get a drink, but we did get shut down. So uh, we even tried to give them a tip just to make us a drink, and they wouldn't. So anyway, nothing ventured, nothing gained. We're going on a beach walk today. Hi, welcome to Beach Bumbling. Today we're going to do a beach tour of Playa de Oro. It's the beach outside of the Crystal Vallarta Resort in the hotel zone located in Puerto Vallarta. We will be walking north towards the marina for a little bit till we get to an impasse pretty much and then turn around and head back the other way. That beach is quite long. You can walk it for a really long time. We won't be walking the whole beach today. Um, I'll walk it for a while. I'll let you know the buildings that we're walking by in case you're booking something close by there. You can get an idea where you would be staying. If you have any questions, you can get a hold of us on our socials. You can leave a comment if you like. If you want to help the channel out, you could subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the bell to be notified when we make a new video. All those things help us grow. But for now, put on some sunblock, kick them sandals off, and let's go for a stroll down the beach. What you're looking at here is Playa de Oro, which means Golden Beach, roughly. It's a Blue Flag Certified Beach, which you don't see every day, and that gets awarded for your excellence in safety, quality, environmental management, and service. As you see here, you can get horse rides down this beach. You can paraglide. There's a little market on the beach part way down. That section of orange umbrellas there you see, that is the Punta Mar Beach Club. There's a resort set back a little bit right beside it, and that is the VI Resorts Vallarta Torre. The sailboat and the kayaks all are part of that resort, so I don't think that you could rent those. You could ask. Coming up here on the right is the Crown Paradise Golden Resort and the Crown Paradise Club. They're both all inclusive. And that uh, Palapa bar in front, we got a little funny story about that. Sorry about the framing on this one. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but Karen and I went up to that bar over there. Tried to get a free drink the other day and uh, they totally busted us. So uh, that was a no go. But we're coming up to the uh, end of this area. You can only get so far for the marina, so we'll be turning back. Just past that Palapa on the rock straight ahead there is the International Boat Dock where the cruise ships port. There's also some nice yachts that come in out of there. I'm not sure why we actually didn't walk around there. Probably would be a good, cheap way to kill a half afternoon, I would think. I wasn't so lazy when I kept walking when I found a flea market at the end of this beach. Speed volcanoes around. Black sand usually means volcanic. They're volcanic. All right, so you see that uh, rock formation there. There's, you can't get past that. You'd have to go up into town. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to turn around here and head back the other way. All right.
looks like the crown paradise here. Beach goes from sandy like uh, to walk on to kind of rocky in spots. Like not big rocks, but it just feels a lot more grainy on your feet. A little bit of a pullback too when you're trying to get out of the water in some spots so if you've got mobility issues or if you're um, a little older and have problems uh, getting in and out of the water that will probably be something just to be aware of Those are condos. There's not a lot of beach traffic in front of them, so it makes me think that. Nice though. Yeah, there's no shortage of parasailing here. So if you're into that kind of thing, you'll easily find it. It was a lot cheaper in Yalapa to do that, but I don't know if it was the same length of ride or experience, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> Shops up there. I didn't even notice them yesterday. Beach is a lot less packed today than it has been the last couple days. So if you're looking at going to the romantic zone, somewhere way over there, yesterday you can see the reflection of the big sculpture on the Malacone, but I'm not seeing it today. I think it's right there. So it's a bit of a cab ride. Or a walk. Give an idea how close we are to the airport. hazy here today. Visibility is not as good on the mountains. But the water does seem a bit calmer. And over there you're going to see the uh, Crystal Vallarta Altitude. That's the premium club over there. We did not uh, do that one this time. So I think that's all adults. They got some uh, probably extra amenities that we don't have that we probably don't miss. Again, we'd rather spend the money off the resort, dumping it in the community, checking out some experiences that uh, we might not normally get. Most of which were on my GoPro that got uh, left behind.
So if you're watching this and you recognize this on that uh, memory card, send me a message. I would love to have the footage back. You can keep the GoPro. I could care less about the GoPro. See that sign up there, Crystal Altitude. That used to be a Hyatt or a Hilton, I don't remember which. And then that Palapa, that's where we eat uh, snacks and lunch. You can also have it in the lobby. And that yellow and white building is the main building um, that was here before anything else for this uh, resort. From what I hear, it's a bit dumpy. That's from people actually staying in it. So we're staying in the tower that's uh, behind that Palapa, I guess it is. One of the 12th floor, so I think it's the fourth one from the top on the right-hand corner. Yeah, I remember I was saying there's no shortage of uh, I think dude's coming in for a landing right now and I might be in the way. He's coming in hot. <laughs> oh. I'm getting my head cut off by this freaking rope. Ah, oh, good landing, man. He stuck it. 6.9. Probably sticking it, I guess, if you get him a 6.9. Anyway, every day the view looks different because the mountains look different depending on the humidity. Water is very loud when you're down here. Don't realize it until I was recording. Tell you what's going on here. All right, this is right in front of the Crystal Bayarta here. Those are more uh, condos. Some of them look pretty nice, lit up at night. And something to know about this area is that there's a nice drop off. When I say nice, I mean big drop off. And it's not out very far here. I'm walking in the water now. But, but yeah, so. And there is quite a pullback, as mentioned before. So be aware of that. But yeah, take a look around. So I'm not far from the uh, shore ballpark and then there's a drop. Like you go from being able to stand to not being able to stand. So again, if you got mob <laughs> mobility issues, just know that. Nobody wants to get hurt in vacation. Or any other time for that matter. So Karen's sitting up there somewhere with some people that we met today they're being gracious enough to allow us to use your room tomorrow because we get kicked out early and their flights late which I think that's a karma deal because we had a couple from Sturgeon Falls Luke and Tracy I think who let us uh, or that we let them stay in our room uh, the last day so they could have a shower and get cleaned up because their plane was leaving late so 
Canadians taking care of Canadians. You gotta love it. You're gonna want to be bring a drink, whether it's water, pop, I don't care. Cerveza. I'm drinking a Paloma. But uh, it's gonna be about a 15 minute walk from end to end of this beach, I would think. I'll let you know at the end of the video how long it is. And we'll be limited to how far we can walk here without walking through some type of little river. I'll tell you, the sand feels a lot more powdery than it did the previous days. I don't know why. And the water feels warmer. <laughs> Any of these buildings get a stellar view of the sunset. Not sure what those white and brown buildings are. I haven't been down here that often. I'll tell you what, man, if you've never been to Puerto Vallarta and you like food, come to Puerto Vallarta. You'll find anything you're looking to eat. The Mexican food is totally on point. We got a video coming later uh, where we went to some taco stands at night and I did not have one bad thing. And cheap too, like uh, like taco stand tacos. Don't be afraid to eat that stuff when you come. It's all good food, made by locals. One of the best uh, tacos I ever had was like 15, 20 years ago in Bucherias. Just off a taco stand. I found some things on this trip that were just as good. Tried some new things. I will say this about Puerto Vallarta. A week is not enough. Like there's a bunch of main sections to it. And it's almost like sensory overload. There's just so much, oh, when you're on the Malacone, there's just so much information and different things to do, you know, um, vendors, art, it's just beautiful, really. But yeah, if you have ADD, you're going to have a problem in Puerto Vallarta, for sure. It's really nice. Yeah, so like I said, oh, those are condominiums right there. Something about turtle, marina turtle, I don't know, tortuga's turtle. I pick up about seven more words every time I come down here. So in about 155 years, I'll be fluent in Spanish. If you're coming down here and you know absolutely zero Spanish, You're gonna to wanna to know Banyo. Banyo's washroom. Cervezas, a beer. Uh, if you know what a margarita is, just order it. Same. Uh, Playa is beach. I don't know. I didn't need much more than that the first four or five trips. Everybody speaks, uh, not everybody, but a lot of people speak English. And if you're in a store where not everybody does, usually there's at least one person that can help the conversation. But uh, I think the locals do appreciate when you try, even if you're like, I keep throwing French in there, le and la, instead of L. Like, it, it's just, I do it all the time and they laugh and we have a joke about it. But I think they really do appreciate you trying to use the local language. So Duolingo that shit up or whatever app you want to use and just learn some basics. Uh, it goes far with the locals. And we've actually gotten better deals 
from some of the vendors, just I think because we spoke like a piquito, which is a little bit of Spanish. See, that one looks nice. No idea what it's called. There's a river back there, which feeds in way over here somewhere. Get a little bit into the more of the rockier beach here. <clears throat> Probably why you don't see a lot of people like in loungers and stuff right here. Plus, this is like a big sandbar. I'll show you. Okay, you see that uh, person with the hats on over there? Stacked on their head. There's like a little outlet or river or whatever that runs into the water. And if you want to cool off, that's the water you want to lay in. Anyway, today's about 28, 29 degrees. There's actually humidity today. There wasn't too much of the days. But uh, keep your sunblock around, boys and girls, because there's such a nice breeze that comes off the water, you're probably not even gonna realize you're getting burnt. So yeah, the water, the Sand's getting a bit more sandy here again, so you start to see more people on the beach. Actually, when we came through here, yes, no, two days ago, whatever, three days ago, doesn't matter, where you have to walk through this little river was much wider. This is like nothing. Well, anyway, there's uh. You can keep walking on this beach for a long, long time. I can tell from the previous beach walk views that people only check it in for about three minutes. So hopefully if you're watching this still, you're getting some good useful information. If you like what you see, like I said, the views are beautiful. Sunsets are amazing here. You can see that guy's walking right about up, not even to his nuts. But, uh, this is where I'm going to stop for the day because I have I'm a Paloma and uh, it's about a I don't know five or six minute walk at least back to get one so that's it for uh, the beach walk there's those horses again so hope you enjoyed that and uh, like I said hope you got some useful information out of this again if you're coming to PV and you have if you can come for more than like a week i would recommend you break it up between different zones kind of wish we would have stayed in the romantic zone for a little bit uh, we're kind of near the, the marina us and uh, there's lots of shit to do in the streets though like i mean lots of places to eat there's a walmart close by a sam's club drug stores like i said lots of taco street food in the area and then uh i don't know i guess that's it for today